Emily's Stanford swimming dreams get crushed, Hannah gets a creepy feathered friend, and Aria gets more than she paid for from her self-defense teacher. I'm Alex filling in for Heather, and if you haven't seen last night's Pretty Little Liars episode, Turn of the Shoe, this is your official spoiler alert. Barely five minutes in, and A, or someone, has already attempted to kill Mona and left Emily majorly injured. Seriously, A don't play this season. Now she's trying to match with Emily's scholarship right before her big swim meet. But Emily's not going to let a nasty busted shoulder hold her back. Painkillers are always the answer. I mean, no. Look on the bright side, Emily. Dorm rooms really aren't as spacious as Paige thinks they are. Not even at Stanford. So Hannah's mother is back from her little trip, and she's starting to sound more and more suspicious. Lost cell phone? Trash Manolos? Is A really framing her? Or maybe she was just doing us all a favor and getting rid of Detective Wilden herself. Dude, Toby's got major to this episode, and for good reason. A is dangling information about Toby's mother over his head, but do you really think she killed herself, or is it all just a part of A's evil plan? Um, real quick, can we talk about how adorable Ezra is? I don't think I've ever been this turned on by the thought of college admission essays before. Speaking of Ezra, it looks like he's the furthest thing from Arya's mind. So what do we think about Jake? other than the fact that he's ridiculously good looking and apparently smells like cinnamon. Is her hot new martial arts man trustworthy? Hannah has a little heart to heart with Allie's mother who gives her some interesting intel about Allie's Cape May trip back in the day. But who did she really go with? Sounds like Tippy the parrot is the only one who might know the answer and she did. So we're still left with some burning questions this episode. Whose phone number was Tippy singing? Did Hannah's mother really kill Wilden? And what kind of evil doings will A convince Toby to do next? Let us know your predictions in the comments and check back next week to talk more Pretty Little Liars.